Labour Party candidates in the 2024 general elections. Ken Stammer has been officially declared winner after the Labour Party secured more than the required 326 seats in the House of Commons. Labour Party majority win of the UK parliamentary seats means Ken Stammer will be the next Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. Labour won the election with 410 seats, with the Conservatives of Rishi Sunak securing 144 seats. Rishi Sunak in a broadcast accepted defeat and says he has called Starmer to congratulate him even before the election results and winner were officially declared and announced. Shortly after winning his seat in Holborn and St Pancras, Starmer says, the change begins right here, it is time for us to deliver. In the highest profile conservative losses so far, Defence Secretary Grant Sharps and ex-leadership candidate Penny Modern to lose to Labour, according to BBC reports. Reform UK leader Nigel Farage becomes an MP for the first time, winning Clapton, while the party's Richard Tice and Lee Anderson also win. ex Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn wins Islington North as an independent, and Labour's John Ashworth loses to an independent. George Galloway of the Workers' Party loses the seat he won earlier this year. Carla Nenya wins for the Green Party in Bristol Central, while the SNP is forecast to go from 43 seats before the election to just six, BBC added in its report. Ahead of the exit poll, Rishi Sunak stated and in quote, the only way to stop a high tax level supermajority is to vote conservative today. A vote for reform or any other party will hand Ken Stama a blank check for generations. Polls close at 10 p.m. Don't forget to bring your ID. You have four hours to stop a level supermajority that will put up taxes for the rest of your life. Polls close at 10 p.m. Don't forget to bring your ID. If Labour are handed a blank check, they will use their supermajority to tax you more for the rest of your life. Labour would scrap exams and tax working families by £2,094, two hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Keir Starmer would demolish our green belt, three hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Labour wants to tax working families by £2,094, four hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Keir Starmer would tax you just for driving, five hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Labour would throw open our borders, six hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Labour would change the voting system to stay in power for the rest of your life, 7 hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Keir Starmer would tax your family home, 8 hours to stop the Labour supermajority. Labour would increase taxes on every part of your life, including your death, 9 hours to stop the Labour supermajority, Rishi Sunak stated during pre-election campaigns. Keir Starmer said in reaction during pre-election campaigns and after he won the exit poll thus. Thank you, Hogan and St Pancras, for putting your trust in me again. Change begins right here. I've changed the Labour Party. If you put your trust in me by voting Labour, I will change the country. Today, Britain's future is on the ballot. Tomorrow, don't just send a message. Send a government. Vote Labour. Keir Starmer wants and in quote. BBC reported that after Keir Starmer won the exit poll, the Labour Party elected Lomika who is due to be the next Prime Minister of UK. Keir Starmer said as presented by Martin the way BBC reported it. The report reads in court thus, still addressing supporters in central London, Keir Starmer tells them, thank you truly, you have changed our country. After reaching the required 326 seats to win the general election, he says, a mandate like this comes with a great responsibility. He adds that the task of a Labour government is, nothing less than, renewing the ideas that hold our country together, we have to return politics to public service, he goes on, adding his government will, show it can be a force for good. BBC report reads further that, one feature of tonight's results is how the advances that the Conservatives secured in leave voting areas after the EU referendum, most notably in 2019, have been entirely lost. Compared with 2019, support for the Conservatives is down by 12 points in seats where less than 45% voted leave. In contrast, support for the party is down by 27 points in seats where more than 65% voted leave. However, the pattern of losses in conservative support since 2015 before the EU referendum is more or less the same everywhere. Support for the party is down by 12 points, compared with 2015, in seats where less than 45% voted leave, while it is down by 9 points where more than 65% voted leave. Can I start by thanking the returning officer and all the team who've been working here at the count and at the polling stations today. You make our democracy possible. I'd also like to thank the police who have ensured that we can conduct this ballot here in North Yorkshire, but also across the country in safety. On this difficult night, I'd like to express my gratitude to the people of the Richmond and North Allerton constituency for your continued support. Since I moved here a decade ago, you have made me and my family feel so at home, and I look forward to continuing to serve as your Member of Parliament. It is an enormous privilege. I'm grateful to my agent and constituency team, and I congratulate my opponents here on the energetic and very good-natured campaigns that they have run.
The Labour Party has won this general election, and I have called Sir Keir Starmer to congratulate him on his victory. Today, power will change hands in a peaceful and orderly manner, with goodwill on all sides. That is something that should give us all confidence in our country's stability and future. The British people have delivered a sobering verdict tonight. There is much to learn and reflect on, and I take responsibility for the loss. To the many good, hard-working Conservative candidates who lost tonight, despite their tireless efforts, their local records of delivery, and their dedication to their communities, I am sorry. I will now head down to London where I will say more about tonight's result before I leave the job of Prime Minister, to which I have given my all. I will then return here, to my family's home, and I look forward to spending more time with you all in the weeks, months and years ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that that reception. What an amazing reception. We did it. You campaigned for it, you fought for it, you voted for it, and now it has arrived. Change begins now. And it feels good, I have to be honest. Four and a half years of work changing the party. This is what it is for. A changed Labour Party ready to serve our country, ready to restore Britain to the service of working people. <laughs> and across our country, people will be waking up to the news, relieved that a weight has been lifted, a burden finally removed, from the shoulders of this great nation. And now we can look forward again, walk into the morning, the sunlight of hope, pale at first, but getting stronger through the day, shining once again on a country with the opportunity after 14 years to get its future back. I want to thank each and every one of you here for campaigning so hard for change. And not just in this campaign either. Also for these four and a half years changing our party. The Labour Mark movement is always everything's achieved, past and future, down to the efforts of its people. So thank you truly. You have changed our country. But a mandate like this comes with a great responsibility. Our task is nothing less than renewing the ideas that hold this country together. National renewal. Whoever you are, wherever you started in life, if you work hard, if you play by the rules, this country should give you a fair chance to get on, it should always respect your contribution, and we have to restore that. Sasuwa Kang Nebu, bringing you the news in a more digital way.